of a brewery in Eugene says enough is enough after somebody broke in again overnight doing thousands of dollars in damage. It was caught on camera and police say the woman seen throwing a rock into a window has now been arrested and will make her first court appearance tomorrow. As KZI 9 News reporter Jessica Babb shows us, it's not just Elkhorn Brewery that has concerns. This was the sound at Elkhorn Brewery today as employees picked up the broken pieces left behind. I got in, it was like I almost cried. I mean, what are we going to do? An emotional day after police say 30 year old Courtney Albin broke into the restaurant early this morning. The moments leading up to it all caught on camera. You can see Albin, who is believed to be homeless, throw a rock through the window before eventually climbing inside. I can't imagine that we're going to feel the same after this. Like, we're already talking about more security and all that stuff. Sheehan tells me he's estimating there's about $10,000 in damages. And he also says it's not the first time it's happened here. Every week is something. Our restaurant's destroyed. According to court documents, she allegedly broke windows about a month ago. Now she's behind bars again, facing charges of attempted arson and burglary. Jihan says Albin even threw a Molotov cocktail, a bottle filled with flammable liquid, into the restaurant. And he's had enough. When are people going to start helping the businesses and stop standing up for the transients? Yeah, they need help. My compassion cup is empty now. Start having com some compassion for us. We're business owners. Police say Albin also threw bottles at Manola's Thai restaurant next door. The owners visibly upset when I spoke to them today. Well, break-ins are a huge issue. In fact, in the past six months, there have been about 80 break-ins or robberies in the area. It's always a concern. I just talked to the owner about it, actually. and. You know, she just thank God that didn't happen to us. We're very thankful for that. Back at Elkhorn, Sheehan says more needs to be done to address the homeless problem and prevent more lives from being shattered. This is how we, we feed 45 people that work for us. You know, this is their livelihood. Today, they're all not getting hours because we're shut down. Customers, um, I'm sorry about today, but this will just make us stronger at the end of the day. Reporting in Eugene, Jessica Babb, KEZI 9 News.